So in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using HT Access to uh, make our URLs actually work the way we want them to. So at the moment, if we wanted to pass data to our uh, file, what we'd have to do is type slash index.php, and then we put a colon, and then we put like title equals whatever. And obviously that's a really long URL and it's not that pleasant to look at. So what we're going to be doing is changing it so that we can just type something like this and it will redirect us to the uh, URL we want to. So the way we do that is we use HT access. So here's the HT access file and I'm just going to paste in a rule. You don't need to understand what the rule does. You just need to paste it into your um, project and then change this to title. So I'll just leave this on screen for a second so you can write it into your project. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're just going to say if is set get title. Then we'll just echo the title out. So we'll say echo get title. So uh, we're going to upload these two files. So now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're just going to type, um, first we're just going to type slash index.php. Uh, question mark title equals test hit enter and you can see we get test printed out to us but obviously this is really unpleasant to look at so what we're going to do is we're going to delete everything here and we're just going to go to min.svc forward slash test hit enter and you can see we get the same result if I change this to Francis you see we get Francis echoed out to us that's because we've used HT Access's rewrite rules to rewrite the URL so that whenever um, the web server sees this, it's going to treat it as if it saw uh, this. It just makes the whole thing a lot nicer to log out and it makes the whole concept a lot more uh, user friendly. So what we're going to do now that we have the HT Access rules um, finished, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our file again and then we're going to say if we set get title then we're going to first check the database to see if it exists and then if it does we're going to um, send the user to wherever the link is pointing to. So the way we do that is we're just going to copy this code from down below and change this to uh, select link from our database. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the MySQL query to say uh, select all from links where title is equal to and we're just going to put a question mark here. So we're going to delete this because we only need one parameter to the bind param function and we only need one uh, parameter pass. So we're just going to put one s there and one title here. So what we're going to do is we're going to echo or actually we'll say print our result and we're going to get uh, the get result method. So we're going to upload this and go back to our page. We'll just change this to the uh, more user friendly version. We'll hit enter and you see we get uh, field count three, but we get uh, nothing returned to us because uh, Francis isn't one of the uh, links. So if I go back to our database table, you can see test is one of our uh, links. So I'm just going to put in slash test. So you can see here it says num row zero. The reason for that is actually because we're using the title variable here and that variable hasn't actually been de uh, declared up here. It's been defined down here. So what we need to do is change this to get title. So let's just refresh. You can see it says num rows one. So to actually get the value from that, what we want to do is just access the fetch associative um, method from the get result method. So let's just refresh and you can see we get one item return and it says harco.org and it says uh, title of this test. So now that we've got the link from the database, what we're going to do is we're just going to say uh, go to is equal to result, get results, fetch array. And then what we're just going to say is echo go to one. So this will just echo the first um, element from the array, well the second element from the array actually. So let's just refresh, okay we get an error. Okay so let's get result and that's a method. So let's just refresh, well I'll upload it again and refresh. You can see we get howcode.org uh, returned to us. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to say header 
location and then here we're just going to say go to uh, actually we want to say go to we'll just say g and um, we'll create a variable called g and set it equal to go to 1 so uh, let's re-upload this let's uh, refresh what we're going to get is we're going to get an error because you see we're trying to redirect to slash haiku.org so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in bestspace.co shorten that link it says done uh, we don't actually know what the link is yet so you see here here's the link we just shortened let's just copy it and let's just paste it here and you can see it takes us to best space so we've one last thing to do uh, before we um, instead of saying done what we're just going to do is we're going to echo your link has been shortened here it is I'll just put a break tag in there and we'll just append title uh, on the end of that and that should be it but before we put the title on the end of it we actually just want to say um, min.aswc forward slash title and we'll uh, center that Let's just end the center tag here. So let's just re uh, go on the page. Uh, let's put in, say, hako.org again. Shorten that. It says your link has been shortened. Here it is min.aswc um, forward slash that. Paste that in. And it takes us to hako.org. So that's it for this video, um, don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.